uh, Deli Ogun, uh, Fatherland Group, Nigeria. On the issue of the global south, uh, is it that the argument has failed or is it that the global south have failed to listen? And are there, is there new thinking that uh, is going on in terms of persuading the global south to shift its position? Thank you. Global South, the, arg the argument, and NATO. Minister. Yeah, on the Global South, um, when, I, when I was answering one of the, when I, when I was making my, my, my remarks about the Global South, I deliberately used the word, the word talk, not persuade. You know, we are not in a kindergarten where you have to persuade someone in uh, uh, a very simple thing that it's bad for one country to, to attack another country. Everyone is smart. African countries, Asian countries, Latin American countries, they, under, they all understand perfectly what is happening. You don't have to persuade them. You have to understand why do, did they take a certain stance perfectly understanding what is going on. Why do they pretend that it's not what it is and work with those arguments and talk to them? And if, well, what I learned uh, from my conversations with Asian, African, Latin American country countries is that you don't have to persuade them. You have to talk with them on equal and this is the most crucial thing, to take them as equal partners who want to be heard, and this should be an equal conversation. The moment they feel that if you are trying to push on them and persuade them in something, they actually step back and it gets, uh, it gets more, more difficult. But the conversation has to continue. And countries, they take their stance because for various reasons. Some want to make money on this war, which is true. There are such countries. Uh, others have strategic projects with Russia that they don't want to lose. That's also true. Someone else uh, uh, benefits from the presence of Russia's mercenaries in their territories. Uh, others belong to political uh, groups with uh, Russia on board. Every country is different. And frankly speaking, I don't like the term, the notion of global south because it puts everyone on the global on the on the equal footing and presents the whole situation as a standoff between the north and the south which is not the case every country is special every country should be uh, uh, treated on its uh, own merits and uh, um, there are very different countries in in every region of the world when it comes to the way they uh, interpret this war and support and the support uh, they they provide gosh